Hello everyone, welcome to another Flex Board View release. Today we have 5.0436 and we're going to go through the things that have changed in this latest version. The first thing we'll do is load up a board view file. We'll go for our 2020 and we'll shift our PDF viewer off to the side. Now the most prominent change for this particular release is the presence of the minimap. Now the minimap initially seems like it's maybe nothing that important but it becomes very useful when you're dealing with trying to do diagnostic work and you're deep diving into the board in very high zoom levels. So you can see now that we've zoomed over these Thunderbolt chips you can see that they are showing up up here. Now there's many things you can do with the minimap. You can click and drag and that will move your minimap around. You can also just click and it will center with the current zoom to wherever you click on to. You can zoom in and out. The net web shows up on the mini web as well so you can see these small threads there indicating the net web. And so that becomes handy if you're looking at this say section and you're kind of wondering where's the other networks going you can very quickly just click off to oh yeah it's over there 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 it's a lot easier than trying to pan around like this looking for what you're after now the main thing that initially started me to write this particular feature is that when i would do the diagnostic sequences I would get lost in the board and not know where I am and this would be a very handy addition. Okay so we've got a typical 239 board and we have some diagnostic solutions here. Now usually you need to get in pretty close to be able to see what you're doing and like if we go through the sequence we can see okay all right we can see it's on this side of the board. Also note that it actually does give the major part outlines here at the moment I have it that if the components have more than about 10 pins then it gets drawn up here. And so we've done our testing here, we go to the next one and again it shows us as things move around. Now for this particular section it's not so bad because we are generally all in the same area. But there are other times where it can spread out quite a bit. As an example, say we're doing the 20 volt sequence here and we're jumping through and we get to say this here. You can see it does a quick jump over to a different part of the board but it's very easy for us to see whereabouts on the board it is. The other thing that I should note which I forgot to mention maybe in the previous release is that networks now focus on the test point for the spawning point for the net web. It makes it a lot easier when you're diagnosing things if you can be focused on the test point because it just makes it easier for your probe to sit on it. Aside from that, there's just some small bug fixes. There was a crash on Zoom problem with MacOS and maybe some others. And there was a inconsistency between the keyboard mappings with MacOS. Thankfully, that should be resolved by now. For the NetWeb, there are many preferences you can manipulate. So we can, we can change the size of it on the fly like that. You can have it in different positions of the four corners. You can also have a floating net web and that allows you to put it wherever you like on the board. And there are of course color preferences. So we can change the background of it, the top outline board, the bottom board outline, the parts outline, the net web color and the coverage, coverage area. So instead of a filled area, we can just simply make it a boxed area. So if we, you can see now it's just reverted to a box. So hopefully that's enough adjustability to make it work for as many people as possible. If you have any other ideas, drop me a message. Hopefully this will help you with your board repairs, make things a little bit easier. I know certainly for me, it's already helped quite a lot. Saves me having to do a whole lot of this sort of pan, zoom out, find out where I am on the board, zoom back in type business instead. Much easier to just jump around and know where I am. Thanks for watching. Appreciate your support. And I'll see you all on the next video.